Horse meat has been detected in frozen lasagna on sale in Germany and supermarkets have started removing the product from their shelves. The real supermarket chain said it had withdrawn tip frozen lasagna, the latest tainted processed food to figure in a Europe-wide scandal. Other German retailers including Tengelmann and Rewe are now checking their processed beef products too. The EU is urging member states to conduct random tests for horse meat. All members should carry out DNA tests on processed beef for traces of horse meat for three months from March 1, the EU health commissioner said on Wednesday. German authorities suspect a batch of lasagna sent from Luxembourg to a retailer in the state of North Rhine-Westphalia. On Wednesday the state's consumer affairs minister, Johannes Remmel, said that after analyzing the data we have learned that through a middleman in Luxembourg, a significant amount of goods has been shipped to Germany and North Rhine-Westphalia, and those goods are suspected, and I repeat only suspected, to have not been properly labeled. The shipment is believed to have taken place between November 2012 and January 2013 Comigil Connection. Mr. Remmel said frozen processed foods had arrived in Germany, via Luxembourg, from Comigil, the supplier in northeastern France which sent mints containing horse meat to several UK retailers. The supermarket giant Tesco, frozen food firm Finders and budget chain Aldi received mints containing horse meat from Comigil. The French firm denied wrongdoing, saying it had ordered the meat from Spang Hero, a firm in southern France, via a Comigil subsidiary in Luxembourg, Tavola. The supply chain reportedly led back to traders in Cyprus and the Netherlands, then to abattoirs in Romania. On Wednesday the EU Health Commissioner Tonio Borg said EU states should test not only for horse meat but also for the presence of the veterinary medicine phenylbutazone, but, thought to be potentially harmful to humans. Mr Borg was speaking after a meeting with ministers from the UK, France and other affected countries in Brussels. He said the program of random tests should report after 30 days, but testing should continue for three months. The scandal has raised questions about the complexity of the food industry's supply chains across the EU. There are now calls for more specific labeling on processed meat products in the EU, to show country of origin, as in the case of fresh meat. But the cost of doing that may trigger opposition from food manufacturers. Romania has denied claims that it was to blame for the mislabeling. Germany's consumer protection minister Ilse Ainer called the mislabeling situation a mess and said the EU must put an effective food surveillance system in place to detect fraud. Speaking on German art television, she stressed that it was a problem of fraudulent labeling, not public health.